Alrighty, so for chapter 5 bingo, the first problem I had was 5.6. It was a two-part problem and it said, uh, the question was that you have a wrecking ball held in place by two steel cables. So let's just go ahead and get our wrecking ball here. Uh, we have that one of the cables has a 45 degree angle between the vertical or 40 40 degree angle excuse me uh, between the horizontal and then the other one let's come over here is parallel with the x-axis um, and then we can just kind of have our little crane right here There we go. And so then the first problem, oh, and the wrecking ball has a mass of 3,620 3, kilograms. And the first question asks us to find the uh, tension of the cable that makes the 40 degree angle with our horizontal. So we can just call that tension A and we'll call the tension um, of our second cable tension B. So first of all to find the tension of um, well actually let's make it a little bit so we'll call this one tension B and this one tension A. So first of all to find tension B uh, we use Newton's third law that um, the sum of all of our tensions and the x direction are equal to zero. And then so to find out what this tension is, we just, uh, the sum of these tensions anyway, we just take that as tension B times the cosine of our angle, and again we're using cosine because we're looking for it in the x direction, um, minus our mass times our gravity is equal to zero. And we have mass times gravity here because that's just the acceleration of gravity pulling the ball down, and that's going to be equal to the tension, the forces that are pulling it up. So just Newton's third law, for every action you have an equal and opposite reaction. So we have our action being that gravity's pulling our ball down, and our reaction right here being that we have a rope pulling it up, or some force pulling it up. So, uh, and that force pulling it up is the tension on uh, rope B. So that's why we have this here. So then we can have that our... Um, first one here, our forces in the x direction, is the same as our mass times our gravity. And since we're specifically looking for the tension on rope B, we can set that equal to um, our mass times our gravity, once again our downward forces, divided by our tension in the x direction. And then that, uh, we can just plug, all these are known values, we can plug all that in. And so our mass is 3,620 times the acceleration of gravity over cosine of 40. And then when we do all that math, that's going to give the tension of our B rope equal to 4... Uh, 46,310.6 newtons. All right, and then uh, part B is to find the tension in our A rope. So to find that, once again, we have Newton's third law being the sum of the tensions in the... Uh, to be y in the x direction is, no, sorry, this is in the y direction, um, is equal to zero. And then for, to find that, we have 
uh, the tension in rope A minus the tension in rope B times the sine of theta is equal to zero. And once again, we have uh, the sine of theta because this is in our, our y or up direction. So then we have simply that the tension of rope A is equal to the tension of rope B times the sine of theta. And so we know the tension of rope B from part A, and obviously we know theta is 40 degrees. So we can just plug all this in as 46,310.6 times the sine of 40 degrees is equal to 29,767.9 newtons. So there we have it. We have uh, both, we're able to find both of the tensions in each of the ropes using Newton's third law that says the sums um, of all the forces in either direction, up, down, side to side, are all equal to zero. And then we just find out what the sums of those forces are. Just to kind of recap what we did, it's a little bit confusing. Um, so we know that going in the uh, side to side direction, um, or excuse me, the up and down direction, we know that uh, the forces going down is just the force of gravity and the mass of our object is pulling us down, and that has to be equal to the forces pulling us up. And then for the tension in rope A, um, that's kind of pulling it to the side. We know that um, the force pulling it to the side has to be equal to um, the force pulling it to the other side, which is this rope here. Um, and then we uh, find the uh, vertical components of that. But yeah, so that's how we solve that problem.